Hello and welcome to this webinar on behalf of Data Law advising the client in road traffic events. Uh, my name is Colin Beaumont. Um, I'm a solicitor. I've been involved in uh, criminal law now for ooh, more than 30 years. Happy to say uh, that currently I have no points on my license. Uh, this has not always been the, uh, the case. Um, and confession time, I have been on the speed awareness course uh, more than once. Anyway, enough of me. Let's crack on. Penalty points and the totting up system. Uh, those of you who are uh, familiar uh, with advising clients in this particular area uh, will know that we now have a system of penalty points. If you want to know how many points a particular offence attracts, uh, you need to have a look at part one of Schedule 2 at the back of the Road Traffic Offenders Act 1988. A very useful section, uh, schedule, uh, that will tell you an awful lot um, about the offence that you're dealing with. Now, some offences carry a fixed number of penalty points, uh, whilst others carry a variable set. The test, and this is the first of a number of tests coming your way in this particular webinar, because all of the tests in road traffic legislation are difficult. Uh, that's why it's actually quite difficult to um, manoeuvre yourself around the acts. The test to decide whether or not penalty points are relevant is a period of three years commission of offence to commission of offence. This is set out in section 29 um, of the Act. Now, that's important because when you're looking at a client's driving licence, you need to know the commission dates of their previous offences. You then, of course, look at the commission date of the offence on the summons or on the charge uh, that you're dealing with today. And having looked at the, those particular dates, you need to see whether or not penalty points would fall within that three-year period commission of offence to commission of offence. And the legislation is deliberately um, framed in that way uh, so that asking for an adjournment will not in any way assist. doesn't matter how many times the case is adjourned, it will not affect, will it, the commission date of the offence. That is fixed and unalterable. Now, some clients commit a number of offences on the same occasion. Where this occurs, you need to see section 28 subsection 4 of the Act. It's not an easy subsection to read, but unscrambling it, it effectively means that the court simply takes one offence and puts the penalty points on that one offence. There might be four endorsements. These might be all endorsable road traffic offences. But you only take one offence and put the penalty points on in relation to that one offence. In other words, the client isn't at risk of becoming a totter because of multiple points for multiple offences committed on the same occasion. That's never going to happen. Same occasion isn't actually defined in the Act, but from case law there must be some close physical or temporal link in order that it can be said that offences have occurred on the same occasion. A classic might be failing to stop at the scene of the accident and failing to report an accident. Now those are two quite distinct and separate offences, but they are deemed to have occurred on the same occasion, and so there is only one set of penalty points. Now we know that a person becomes at risk of being disqualified by the court if the penalty points to be taken into account on that occasion, commission of offence to commission of offence, number 12 or more. Section 35 of the Act. And whenever you see Section 35 on a client's licence, you know that he 
he or her must have been disqualified under the totting up legislation if there's a disqualification registered on the license. Section 35 equals a totting up disqualification.